In this video, we will finally find out who we really are as people. We are going to take a quiz and it will tell us who we are. Kind of. It's kind of like a quiz. Babe, what, what, what is this? It's what more this? like a set of different questions that then reveal if you suck or if you're great. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, I know who I am as a person. I'm a loving, charismatic, beautiful, sold, intelligent, wise, young cow. No. no. And Claire is all of the same, except she's not a cow. She is a parrot. Hmm? A beautiful bird. <laughs> but let's go find out who we really are and see how accurate my hypothesis is were. Let's go. Two hungry people want to eat dinner. Okay. okay. Is that this like seems a father like and a son? us. I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, a lot of people want to eat dinner. But their forks are too long to get into their mouths and they cannot eat with their hands. Huh? What world are we living in that this is an issue? Just focus on the issue. It doesn't matter if it's real or not. We're evaluating your personality. Okay. Okay. How would you advise them to eat? Well, if this was me, I would say scoop it up and then feed it to the other person. Ah! Right? I mean. Yeah, scoop it up and feed it to the other person is good. But I probably wouldn't have said that. I probably would have said to like get it off the fork and then put it at an angle where you could like eat it off of the fork. Okay, so Claire would say feed yourself. Yeah. I say. You're just going for the answers that you think you're going to be like no, a that's better I, person. No, that's why I said. I said, okay, you get some on your fork. I'll get some on mine and we'll reach across and eat it that way. Instead of trying to bend our arms sideways. Feed each other. There we go. That's what I said. You're a leader and know what's better for your team. Okay, that makes sense. I, I understand that one. You know, I don't know if it's going to show another, uh, another side of it for you, babe. Oh, grab the central part. Of the fork, which is what you said. Not really. You're good at optimization. Yeah. Nice, babe. But maybe there's, that's not really what I said. So I wonder if there's like maybe a different answer. Bite the turkey. Oh. It Didn't it say you can't do this? I thought. You're highly effective, but probably not a team player. Well, oh, thank God. You can't use your that. hands. That's what it says. Uh, I was going to say, didn't it say we couldn't do that? All right, so clearly I am a leader. This is Andrew, and I approve this message. And I am a good person. Claire, on the other hand, is optimistic. Yeah. So. Do you think I'm optimistic? What does optimistic mean? It means you're optimistic. Oh, thanks for the clarification. All right, babe, what do you see? I, I see, see a, a guy woman. laying on top of a lady. Oh, I see a woman hugging a man. Whoa, this is actually really weird. I see a guy laying on top of a lady. If man. you saw a man, you're looking. Ooh, ooh, okay, hold on. This is a lot of this is a lot of work. Whoa. Okay, so babe, you saw the man, right? Yes. And I saw the woman. Yes. So I see. It says you're looking for romance and unity, but more serious one. If you're in a relationships, you have a strong emotional connection with your partner. Brave person. We are emotionally connected strongly. Let's see what happens if you saw a woman. A woman. You have a positive attitude and you live in harmony with yourself. You appreciate beauty and feminine energy. All right, so far I am a leader. This is Andrew and I approve this message. And I like relationships in unity. Claire is optimistic and is a feminine person. Hey, wait, I feel like yours are way more defined. Mine are kind of just like, woo, like yeah, yeah, it is. I feel, I feel like some of these will get more interesting. Here in a second. What do you see? I see a sad man crying. What? I see a lock. How is there a sad man anywhere on this? You really didn't see it? No. Yeah, Wait, I see a keyhole. You really didn't see the sad man? A sad man? Look, here's his head. There's his body. There's his eye and a tear in oh. his nose. Yep. To be honest, I did not see that at all. How did you even... How do you see that before you see the keyhole? Because I'm sympathetic. You're crazy. That's what you are. Let's see what I am. Keyhole. Here we go. You love exploring new ideas, learning new things, and getting out of your comfort zone. You might be interested in someone. Talk to that person. You're interested in someone else? Yeah, this is about half right. Like, I love exploring new ideas. Yes. Learning new things and getting out of your comfort zone. No. In ways, in ways, in ways. But uh, definitely not interested in talking to anyone. I'm a solo person and I hate people. Let's see. Claire's our crying figure. You need to pay more attention to your feelings and listen to your wishes. You need to. You need time to relax and get your mind off everything. Wow. This is spot on with you. She just freaked out on me because she said, you need to pay 
more attention to my feelings. All we do is what you want to do. I need time to relax and get everything off my mind. That is quote unquote what she told me. And that's about 90% what this says. I'm just saying, I thought this was going to be weird and creepy, but this really just is uh, you guys seen a little therapy session, I guess. Okay, who is the kid's mother? Ooh, A is my prediction. God, they're giving us 30 seconds. Why A though? Because they're wearing the same color clothes i think it's b because the face on the lady a looks like conniving and mean b looks like a sweet innocent lady look at the girl look the girl in a have the same color hair and the same color shirt it's got to be a if this is b then like I, I i don't deserve to ever be in a youtube video ever again it's a it's b it's a a the kid is facing her b has her legs in front blocking herself from the kid. She is more tense. Oh, so it had nothing to do with the color of the hair or the shirt. I guess not. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. That was a little confusing. A, which is what I said, right? Yes. Uh, you always finish what you start. Eh. You have great analytical skills. Eh. You're a hardworking person who tries to give more in relationships. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Close, <laughs> close, right, right right, around, right around who I am as a person. Now let's see how Claire was. I am a creative person with a great imagination. Uh, my ideas are always fresh, definitely not. And you are a good listener, so people always want your advice. That last one's true. All right, this one says, what does your handwriting say about you? This one should be pretty interesting here. Uh, large, okay, um social ability i feel like we have to write something down you don't know how you write i mean it depends on the context like am i writing notes am like i writing if you were a letter write your name on a full piece of paper just let's do it here we have my notebook which has all of my secrets in it what yeah in it we are going to write our name like um normally and then in cursive okay yeah, are you gonna rip the paper out or no sure yeah just rip it out give it a big old fat rip oh can you are you not gonna be able to see it it might be able to see that I'll take a picture of it. I think they can see it. Yeah, right there. You guys should see that, right? I think. But what does this tell about us, babe? Okay. If you have large handwriting, which I would say both of us have large handwriting. Okay. It says that we're so sh our sociability. Oh, we're sociable. Sociability. Vertical stability. What's a vertical mean? Uh, oh, we're talking about like the. Oh, mine is vertical. What did that say? Stability. Yeah. I'm stable. Mine's vertical too, so I'm okay. stable. Curved letters are your curves. Yours are curved. You're I'm kind and sensitive. Are mine curved? No. Dang it! Mine are straight as an arrow. Sprawling. Oh, it means like you have a lot of space in between yours. Yours, no. No, 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 no Raised optimism. <gasps> oh, that's what I have. Look, my signature raised yeah, your from the bottom up. Nice. That's the two times now that I've gotten optimistic. I have a feeling that Claire is optimistic. Your signature directed upwards. John yes. Smith. Optimism. I'm optimistic. That is insane. Mine is just uh straight. Stability, stability. restraint. Ooh, I think you have those two things. What does like restraint mean? Like what like It what? means like Well, I know what it means, but like in context, like what how am I restraint? Your friend tells you, Andrew, we're gonna jump off a cliff and it's gonna be really fun, and you say no. Yeah, F that. Alright, we have to count our points. Ooh, I have good thing I have the paper. What's your element? Ooh. Wait, what? I think earth. Earth is my element. Okay, mine will probably be fire. I got three, you got one. Okay, not a good start here. Not a good start. Pick a color. Blue, golden, black, red, purple. Purple. I'm going blue. Okay. Oh my God. Hopefully blue is 15. Well, you don't know if a better, a higher score is better. Mm, you don't true. know. So I got two, you got three. God dang it, Claire's still winning, but that could be bad. Your strongest sense is touch, smell, taste, sight, hearing. I would say mine is smell. I think. I can't hear anything and I'm blind. So definitely not hearing or sight. Yeah, I'm going smell. What do you think mine is? Probably taste. Yeah, I was going to say taste too. Okay. Taste. Come on, be a five. Be a five. Smell. Zero. Break. Break. And Claire got plus two. She's crushing me on the scoreboard you right now. You don't know if a higher score is better. Uh, choose a picture. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, I, know I already Claire's know. Choosing. <laughs> I'm going three. I'm going two. I mean, uh, sorry. Four. Four. Three, four. Yes, Whoa. I got four right there. We're going to be tied. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. And I got what? One. One. 
Lizard, choose an animal. My God, how many rounds are there? Eagle, baby. I'm going eagle. I don't care about any of the other ones. I'm going tiger. Claire's going tiger. I'm going eagle. Okay. Zero. God dang it. That's my second zero. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I feel like I, I, I feel have like, a lot more points than you. What is my biggest fear? Disaster, exam, lie, ghost, death. Wait. Probably. Isn't every. D does everybody have a fear of death or maybe exams? not? Exams? That's a weird. Mine's disaster for sure. I hate tornadoes. Yeah, they I'd make have to me go. Cry. I'd have to go disaster too. I mean, I don't know. Like, death is a weird one. Ghost, whatever. Three. All right, so we both get three. Okay. I'm interested to see what these numbers are. Add right. your points. Okay. My right. grand total is five, 10, 15, 16 points. You got 16. <laughs> Andrew's grand total is 10. 16 to 10. Okay. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. 10 to 14. Telep telepathy. Telep <laughs> telepathy. Telepath telepathy. 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 There we go. You are sociable, intelligent, powerful, and experienced. Ooh, I think that all those are true. Sociable? Yeah, I think that you don't like being social, but you are sociable. Like, yeah. you are good at a party. 15 to 19. Super, Super strength. strength! You're active. Yes, brave. Yes, reliable. Yeah. Quiet? Yes, and cute. <laughs> yes. I think they said cute wrong. <laughs> Well, there you have it. You guys just went through a full counseling session with your favorite YouTube couple, Claire and Drew. You've learned multiple things about each of us. Most of these were accurate in ways, and most were not accurate in ways. But there you have it. Your social or your favorite couple. Okay, close this out, babe. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and tell us what superpower you'd want to have. Yeah. <laughs> but we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey.